Hey guys, Neil here from Real Terrain Hobbies. Uh, we're going to be doing part two now of our tree bases uh, here at the back. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I got a feeling that uh, this little mini series is it's going to be three parts for a fairly small project. So I'm already condensing things down big time uh, in my editing. So let me know if you think that uh, I'm kind of going on, droning on a little too much and getting taking too many little tangents. Uh, if, I want, if you want things a little more concise and a little more to the point, uh, let me know below and I can definitely do that. Um, but yeah, for now, I uh, hope you enjoy and here is part two. All right. All right, guys, and we are back. <clears throat> so as you can see, we got uh, quite a change. Um, I got a, a whole heck of a lot of stuff here now. So the fun part is about to begin. The paint is dry. I let, just let that dry overnight. And uh, that was the end of my Friday night uh, as far as this stuff goes. But Saturday morning now, I can get rid of this paper. And uh, here we are. So what do we have here? I got a lot of things. I'm itching to go. Um, I got some blocks or some uh, styrofoam blocks for some rocks to carve. I got a whole stack of tufts. Like look at that. Lots of tufts and I'm uh, I love tufts. Yeah, now we'll, we'll dive into that in a little bit here. But we got our tufts ready, our grass and foliage and flower tufts, uh, static grass, Couple more tufts from uh, Army Painter. Some, whoa, flocking that I just spilt everywhere. Sand for a dirt. I think for now we're gonna start off just by carving out some rocks and kind of like what we did on this guy here. As you can see, let's get in close. So we'll make some rocks like that and uh, put our tufts on, put our rocks on, <clears throat> and then we'll get on to flocking or I guess putting on our static grass as well as some sand for uh, some dirt passes just to break things up a bit. So to start off, I think I'll use, I won't even need these big ones here. I think this will be enough. These are just some extras from some other, uh, or another project that I'm working on, uh, which is a big, <clears throat> Big one I'm excited to show you guys. We're, I got some, started working on that, got some video on that already, and it's gonna be like the big behemoth. Uh, uh, one, my kind of my bigger, my bigger one coming up here. All so far it's just been uh, some foreground reviews, uh, some of this uh, little stuff, but we'll, don't worry, we'll get into the big stuff here really quick. Uh, so to start off, let's, uh, you know, break off some pieces for it on a bigger rock. That's about the size of this one. Maybe we can make it a little bigger and a couple other ones. And basically when you break these things, you already get a pretty nice rock looking um, texture on them, I guess you could say. Like just pulling this apart here a little bit already. I'll do this really quick. And I'll show you up close. You can see yeah, it's kind of close to a rock already, a little bit. You got some sharp edges or some, uh, like the flat edge obviously is not any good, but, and same with this little guy right here in the front. But, you know, you can paint that up and you already got yourself fairly nice looking rock, but uh, we want to do more with it <clears throat> than that. You can do that for some parts, but, um, what I did with here, <clears throat> the way I made this rock is uh, it's a lot more flat and these type of rocks, they actually, they're like layers, you know, like uh, layers, different layers of, of rock, hardened rock. Um, and so when they break, they kind of, a whole layer kind of comes off the other one. So they come off in flatter layers and that's you get a really nice look it gets 
you know, like river rock that are kind of more round and not flattened like that. And we can do some river rock too, but I, I like the look um, of this, this style here with the flat, the flat layers. <clears throat> so to start with this guy, I'm gonna kind of round off these outer edges first and just take these corners off. Do that. I got some flat. I'll take this flat part off here. I don't want to take too much of this apart because I want this rock to be a little bit bigger. So, you know, this is pretty simple right now. Just do this, get rid of this flat edge here. I'll just chip some of this away just to get rid of my flat, flat edges. <clears throat> just to make it natural there. Do that, 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 that. It's kind of, I guess this will be pretty similar to this rock here. Maybe, maybe I'll make one like that and maybe I'll do a bigger, bigger one like this. Using something like this a little taller because this is going to be pretty similar already to one I already had. But that's fine, I'll make one like that. I can even break this in too, but I'll make it big for now and then if, we, it's, if I want to change it, I can change it easily enough. So, I'll take out our knife. And let's get nice and close here now. Right in on where we'll be working. So I'll take my knife and I'll cut. Be very careful with your knife. I know I said to cut away, but I'm just kind of, I'm not, yeah, I'm, you're supposed to cut away from yourself. But uh, I'm kind of breaking my rule. It's, if you have, you know, if you have control of your knife, what am I trying to say here? I'm just trying to make excuses. Really, you should cut away from yourself <laughs> when it comes down to it. So anyway, so I'm cutting these layers and you gotta be really careful. So I'm still cutting into my fingers, I know that, but just be aware of what you're doing is the big thing. So I'm just cutting in, I'm making a little cut in like that, if you can see. And then, so that's like one of your layers, your rock layers, and then break it off and you get that sort of look. So, got that guy there. I'm gonna do another one down here, just in a little bit, like so. I don't think that really got that guy. You can do a few of those different, at different levels to kind of get that, that look. And they can be thin, they can be thick. This one here is pretty thick down here. I got a little unnatural looking corner there. So instead of cutting it off, I'm just gonna break it off like that. This is already looking, yeah, it's already looking like a pretty realistic looking rock. So just be careful with your knife on this. This is really, this is the, the stage where you can hurt yourself and you don't wanna be doing that. <clears throat> so I'm trying to think here. Sometimes I even just put a slit in just to give it that broken look but it hasn't quite broken apart and then when you paint it and use a wash that slit let's get close again my focus will be quick so that slit there you can see across the front will fill in with uh, your, your darker paint if you use a black black wash it'll fill in there really nice and it'll pop out and it'll just give it, you know, the look of a broken rock uh, that hasn't been taken apart. And uh, that's what you see out in nature. So, so already this is looking pretty nice. I like that. And there we've got our rocks. And then on the sides here we'll have our tufts, grass tufts. And um, yeah, so let's back up again. So, let's... As far as the grass tufts, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, have a little video doing an overview of all these tufts that I've got and I'll show you the different arrangements. I've got a really nice um, water piece already made uh, that I didn't do any tutorial on. I actually did, sort of did one on Beasts of War and uh, here, I guess you can look at me now. <clears throat> Yeah, I did one on Beasts of War, <clears throat> and uh, I uh, actually it was a contest that they have. I don't know if they're still doing those or not, but it's a contest for tr tr train building. 
And uh, this was the uh, white, or sorry, the, how did they, what was the title of it? It was Fresh Water. It was a fresh water um, challenge, and you have to build some terrain involving fresh water. So I just built a, a river pathway, is what I named it. It was just a pathway, kind of going up a slope, and down at the bottom was the river, and there's a nice little uh, bank. Uh, with rock, a rocky bank and whatever and I had some rocks in there and the water splashing up and I was trying to go with a nice big splashy effect and uh, anyway I ended up winning the challenge and uh, they said that I'm going to be put into uh, the year end like the winners of each category like they've got several categories throughout the year I think they got four and then you get put into the end and then they do a vote or whatever but I haven't seen they did one after that which I didn't uh, submit anything in I think that was uh, Shades of Spring, it was called. And now I haven't seen one since, and that was like the summer. So I don't know, maybe they didn't get enough um, people interested in, in the challenge itself. But anyway, that was cool. So I'll show you that, and I'll I'll show you what I did with the uh, with the tufts and how I... And you can kind of get a better look about the tufts. And, and anyway, so let's get back down to what we're doing here. So yeah, so there we go. One, two, three, four rocks. And you can save all these little pieces. Some of them are a little too small that you don't need, but just put them all together and those can be used, you know, for rocks later on. You can do, yeah, don't don't just go and chuck it all away. Once those are painted, we'll glue them on. We'll glue on our uh, tufts. I'll just give you a quick little view, really quick. Um, of some of these. So <clears throat> here are some of them. These are really cool. These are like a combined tuff. You have some grass, two different types of flowers, uh, some leafy tufts. It's just a combo and these these are really awesome. So anyway, I'll throw some of these down and then we'll do our static grass. So yeah, we'll go ahead and start painting these. I'm just going to Go take a break, see what's going on with the family, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, start off by painting these rocks and get them all painted up. I went ahead and actually glued these bases on. All I did is use some super glue, and uh, the reason why I went ahead and did that was because I actually needed some super glue for my son's, uh, one of his uh, toys. So I ended up just using it, seeing as I had it out, and quickly slapped some on there and glued it on. And it seemed to, seems to adhere just fine to the, to the uh, plastic and the wood. So I even went ahead and uh, off-centered it. Every All my other ones were uh, right, I put the trees smack center of the little round disc. Oops, there we go. And, uh, but this time I decided I'd put it off to the side a little bit just to try to give it some more natural variety and then you could go ahead and uh, when you put them in you know you'll get them a little more oh, let me see here you'll get a little more kind of uh, a natural look sort of I guess without them being smack center in the middle so yeah, I went ahead and did that. <clears throat> I'll put those to the side. So first off here, let's go ahead and get these rocks primed up and ready for paint. There, that is uh, a nice jet black on those rocks. I'm going to go ahead again, clean this out like so. And we'll move on to our dry brushing. So for those of you who don't know what dry brushing is, it's a technique, a painting technique, where you take some paint, you dab a little bit onto your, your brush, and I dip it in and then you actually want to uh, 
kind of get as much as you can of it off where it starts to feel a little dry and you get less and less kind of painting onto paper or whatever and then you brush it on and uh, it creates a great great effect which you'll see here soon so I'm gonna start with some browns and kind of move up to the lighter and lighter and get lighter and lighter okay <clears throat> so I've gone ahead and mixed up some uh, or gone out some uh, burnt umber and mix it up with some water there and so yeah I'm gonna start with the darker start with the black and then go kind of uh, from dark to light with my colors so I got some brown and I want to see some kind of brown uh, undertones come out in the end, um, along with the whiter kind of grays and whites as we get going. So, so this is sort of dry brushing. The technique is you get some paint, some paint on the end of your brush, and then you kind of get off, take off a bunch of it. You don't, so you don't want uh, basically. So where you don't want it kind of too thick showing up on your uh, your model you're painting. So this, I think I actually want it a bit thicker. I want this coat to be kind of thick, actually. So I don't need to do too much dry brushing right now. Um, this toothpick isn't working out too well. So I'm going to give it a go like that and hold it with my fingers and Suck it up and get some paint on the old fingers. We'll just take it around like that. Get to the, you can leave some blocks in there too. The blocks are going to be kind of what fills those crevices like I was talking about before. There is that guy. Go ahead and do this one now. brushed off there so there you have it our burnt umber I'm going to go ahead and pull out the old hair blower and dry those off so next up I want still a lightish brown I'm going to use this unbleached titanium it's called so just the kind of uh, cream, basically. Get some of that in there. Uh, and you know what? I don't think we need any white. I'm going to take some more of this cream and then mix a slight amount of black in there. Mix that in there. Oh my, a little darker than that yet. And let's go ahead and voila. And again, it's starting to look a lot like a rock, eh? So you see how we dry brush? By the dry brushing, your, your paint isn't getting into all these little bumps and nooks and crannies. And it's giving it some depth and some real nice texture with this dry brush technique see it's already looking pretty good throw him back on he's gonna have a lot of dark in there i think i'm gonna leave it with a lot of dark my last one not so didn't have quite as much <clears throat> Easy, hey? Just like that. Um, so there we go. So it's still a little dark, but I'm happy with that. Uh, I think you could even, I might go with a touch of bluish white for the next color, maybe. Give it a bit of a kind of a slate uh, bluey gray look to it. So that's looking pretty darn good, I think. And lastly, I'm just gonna add some straight white to this. Let's 
key. Notice, uh, bring it right up. So notice right here, you can kind of see how, you can see the knife edges from where I cut with the X-Acto knife. So I'm gonna try to kind of get rid of that. Doesn't look very natural, having those straight lines on there. Brush it away. There we go. All right, I think uh, I'm happy with that. So let's see how this looks. Here's our base. These are rocks, let's take them off. Not bad for some chunks of styrofoam, hey? How was that? There, that looks better. Not too bad. I like that, they're, they're pretty, pretty white, but uh, that's not unheard of actually, that, that white look you get from uh, moss that's actually, or um, some kind of algae or something that's been growing on it and then actually dies and turns that white, whitish color too. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So what we're gonna do is the fun part. <clears throat> Next up is gluing on our rocks. Gluing on our tufts. And after that, putting our flocking on and that's it. So for now, let's uh, decide what kind of green, uh, greenage, whatever you want to call it, foliage we're gonna put on here. So we got some flowers. I got some, these are called gorse bushes. These are my favorite, I think. Uh, I, I put these on a lot, they look very natural. They've got some yellow flowers, they're green as well. And they always seem to look really nice and really awesome. I think I'm gonna use those, at least one of those again. Uh, the yellow, sure. I'll show you some of the different ones I've got. These again are a combo. They were quite expensive actually. And all they are is a few different tufts put together, made into one. And as you can see, I'll, I'll peel one off here. So they are one tuft, and they do have a nice healthy dose of, uh, of a thick green sticky, or not green, but just thick sticky uh, bottom backing on them. And they do stick really well. So I may do one of those. Um, yeah, we can do one of those. In fact, let's just take one on and throw it on right now. Or maybe, you know what, first, as I block my light, I'm gonna glue, go ahead and glue on these uh, rocks with your plain Jane PVA glue. Nothing to it. I'm sure you guys, guys have glued plenty of things on in your day. Those on. All right, okay, next up, let's go ahead. Actually, I'm gonna need some, I don't think I have any out here. I'm gonna run it and grab some tweezers. So I will be right back. <laughs> 